Today we're diving into how to make a super trap beat with the brand new Cypher and Mike Fuego super trap bundle. Now this is not just a new MIDI pack, but an entire production bundle. We have our signature Cypher blending MIDI fragments, over 1120 MIDI files in this one, the largest pack we've ever made. We've got MIDI fragments for hi-hat rolls, snare rolls, 808 patterns, kicks, main snares, and now open hats as well. We also have an all original drum kit with 300 custom super trap drum shots, 50 super trap melody loops with all their stems exported out, 50 super trap melody midis, and finally 400 wave fragments, our brand new feature. More on that later in the video. That's over 2000 plus files. This bundle is beast. Now let's make a beat. Quick disclaimer. The location or names of the files used in this video may be different from the final pack. First, drop in one of our melody loops. Then we'll use some drum shots from our bundled drum kit. Snare pattern next. You can use our crazy main snare midis, but we'll keep it simple for this one. Now let's start with the hi-hat rolls. Super trap drum rolls are extremely complex, but we've got you covered. We've made over a thousand plus of them for you to drag and drop. Look at all these options. Like usual, four bars splits into eight sections, and each folder contains files for that specific section. We'll start with number one. We'll just drag one in here. Now this sounds extremely muddy. That's because the secret to the super trap sound is in the envelope. So make sure for your hi hats and open hats, you go into the envelope section to adjust it like this so it looks like a square. And don't forget to turn on cut itself. Now that's much better. Next, we'll add a hi hat roll for number three here. If you're an FL Studio user, don't forget to select Blend with Existing Data and then click Accept. This will allow you to merge MIDI fragments in the same piano roll without deleting the previous one. This sounds good. Now remember that these are all midis, so you can adjust and rearrange them however you want. So if you can't find a midi that fits well in the folder, mix and match from other folders to get better results. So for number 5 I'll actually use a midi from folder 6, and just drag it to the place you want. This sounds good. Now another on number 6. And on number 7 too. And finally, another on number 8 to close the pattern. Maybe lower the pitch a bit. This sounds great. Time for open hats. Remember to adjust the envelope and turn on cut itself. I'll slightly adjust the position. And another on the second half. This MIDI has slide notes, as marked on the file name. 
Slide notes are usually the ones that are stacked on top of another. So I'll turn these into slide notes. Perfect. Now we'll move on to the kicks. For the first half, and the second half. Make sure you're always adjusting them to fit the rest of the beat. Now we'll do the 808 slides. Again, Super Trap 808 patterns are also very unique, often using a wobbly slide trick. To achieve this, make sure you're using a longer 808 sample. These wobbly slides are marked by NE at the end. This stands for no envelope. That means for these midis, don't touch the envelope. Simply leave it as is or else the slides will not work but cut itself is good. Now since these slide notes are unique and not stacked on top of another, it's hard to tell which one are slides. That's why we've marked the slide notes at the end of each MIDI. For example this one, it says, the last nine notes, so I'll turn the last nine notes into slides. Sounds good. And another slide pattern on the fourth bar. This one says the first note and the last six notes, so I'll turn them into slides. Okay, great. I'll quickly fill in bars one and three. Now to top it off, we'll add some snare rolls. One on the first bar, Another on the second bar. And another on the fourth bar. Finally, it's time to talk about wave fragments. It's our brand new feature. We've taken our hi-hat fragments and exported them as waves with added effects. The workflow for these is even faster than using MIDI fragments. Each wave fragment is split into folders in the same way as our MIDIs. Simply drag and drop them and line them up to the start of the bar like this. They'll form a full pattern by themselves. You can mess around with these wave fragments yourself later. You can come up with some ridiculous results. Let's get back to finishing the beat. We'll add one to this beat to fill in the fourth bar for the hi-hats. It's that easy. And just like that, we've made a crazy super trap beat in 5 minutes. Now just add some final elements. I'll add some main rhythmic hats. And 
some extra hi-hat rolls. You're all set. Your beats are now unstoppable with the Cypher and Mike Fuego Super Trap Bundle.